Okay, well, we are at Minute Maid Park. There is a game tonight, but uh, we have a player here this morning who's joining us with his wife, Tony Kemp, left fielder for the Astros, but along with his wife, Michelle. Hello, hello, hello there. Hello, hello. I'm going to say thank you because we know you got to get busy later on today. Oh, that's but thank okay. you for coming Thanks in for this morning. Us. Thanks for having us. Okay, you went to Vanderbilt, so yes. uh, reading was important in your family, academics was important in your family. How did you uh, kind of balance both sports and academics? Yeah, it was tough. I mean, at an early age, even in middle school, you have to understand that, you know, education comes before sports and uh, my mom and dad were always harping on getting your schoolwork done before going out and playing on the field so uh, it was definitely important especially going to Vanderbilt you got to understand how important time management was and uh, I'm sure she could say the yeah, same thing yeah. because Michelle you same thing you were an athlete you were in band you did all kinds mm -hmm. of things but you also had to make sure you made time and time management for your classes yeah exactly I mean education was always first same thing with him in our house we, my family's big readers we're big on school so that was just always our priority yeah all right you have an analogy and, and Ralph if you could turn around and pass me that that uh, baseball there all right there we go. Oh, good catch. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So usually one of the things I do whenever I go speak at uh, schools or you know get engaged with kids, it's always um, you know it's either a book and it's a baseball. Mm -hmm. And I think the important thing is that the kids get is you know sports will not always be there, and the education is more important. So I had two kids come out. One kid stands on the book, the other stands on the baseball, and I see who can uh, last longer on standing on the ball or the uh, the book. Obviously, the book lasts longer, and so the whole analogy behind the whole thing is that you know education will always be there, and you know sports injuries happen, things happen. So or you might not ever play pro. I can't tell you, you how many kids go. Play, I, don't yeah. need, I don't need to know that stuff because I'm gonna be a pro ball player, yeah, right? Yeah. So uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not that easy. <laughs> when you're when you're young, you think that uh, you know you're going to be a professional athlete, and sometimes that doesn't work out for everyone. Yeah. So having the book and showing the education is more important than sports is good. All right, Michelle, what are you reading right now? I actually just bought a John Grisham book the other day. I'm kind of into the murder oh, mysteries yeah, right now. Yeah. So John Grisham, Tom Clancy, that's kind of been my path right now. Yeah. Do you remember your first book that you got excited about? I. I loved when I, I think when I was around four, I started reading The Babysitter's Club, and that was like my thing. But Harry Potter will always be. Yeah, kind of Harry my Potter was not around when I started reading. But anyway, do you remember your first book that you got excited about? Uh, yeah, I think the first book I really got into was Holes. Um, it was it was pretty cool to see the whole thing how Stanley Yelnats spelled backwards was Stanley Yelnats, yeah. and um, <laughs> you know, I, the, to to me, uh, understanding that you know life wasn't like life isn't fair. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, lots of lessons, lots taught of lessons books, right? throughout the book and, and throughout the movie, is, of course, too. And uh, you know, Stanley gets blamed for stealing cleats that he didn't steal, and he has yeah. to go off and dig holes until they find treasure and stuff. So it's a it's a completely awesome story that I've always loved. And that's why I loved about my son was reading different, like I, I Freak the Mighty, I think it was one of the books he read, but they learned compassion in that book. Mm -hmm. uh, they learned how to work through, you know, issues and problems in a safe way. All right, um, yeah. the book I remember was, it was Old Yeller, and oh. I got so excited about Old Yeller. Do y'all know what that book is? No. Yeah. Are they still it's, reading it? Okay. I, I read Old Yeller. <laughs> still reading it? Please tell me they're still reading it. Still, and it's still sad. Yeah. And what I did was I got so excited about it, our teacher would read a chapter every day, and I skipped ahead on my own, and then I found out what happened, and then I went to class, and I went... <laughs> He doesn't make it! He doesn't make it! So every one of the class starts crying, and the teacher shows up for reading time, and we're just in tears. And she's like, what's wrong? She was so mad at me that she changed the ending. And she goes, and all of a sudden, he woke up, and he <laughs> wagged his tail, and he's like, I'm hungry! And all the kids oh, looked no. at me like, you liar! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, no, I thought I read it somewhere! Oh, but what was your book that you first got excited about? You know, I love the, the fact that you said your first book that you got excited about mm -hmm. was one that was read to you. Yes. The same thing happened to me because I was such a struggling reader, yeah. and that was a teacher reading Charlotte's Web, which is also a Yes, I loved that one, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, hugs for homers before we leave. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, it's kind of the thing that we started um, in, when I was in the minor leagues to start the season out. Uh, whenever people would hit home runs, we would always hug in the dugout. It was kind of just a, it was a funny thing that we started. And, uh, you know, then coming here. Uh, Evan Gaddis, you know, big Evan Gaddis, yeah. uh, you know, he had a home run and, you know, I jumped up in his arms and we kind of, yeah. you know, flowed from there and uh, we kind of had the idea to start, you know, what kind of charity could we do, you know, with this shirt incorporated yeah. and so we did hugs for homers and, uh, you know, a portion of the proceeds that we're collecting is going to the Astros Youth Academy 
So uh, just trying to help out any way we can. Yeah. All right. Can I tell you, you're fairly new, but you're already like my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> look at that, look at that. We weren't even sure they were going to have one in the store. All they had, all they had was like, I think, I think this is a kid's small. I, guess all, that's all about, I put it on the best I could. But anyway, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And when we come back, Houston Astros pitcher Will Harris will share how literacy is important in his family as well.